Rockets ranked in the top 25 as Mike Robinson, who's always in our top 25, joins us now. First off, Mike Rob, happy Thanksgiving. And thank you for coming in. Hey, appreciate it. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for, uh, to be here with you and, uh, and to eat some good food this week, too. Is it a distraction for the Rockets to be ranked in the top 25, or is that not even on their radar? It's, of course it's on their radar, but I don't <laughs> think it's a distraction. You know, I, I think it's, it's more focused to just remain composed. You know, the past few weeks, they've taken care of business as usual. They've handled adversity pretty well. Now you got to go on a roll and take care of business as usual. On the paper, it doesn't appear there's a whole lot on the line Friday as the Rockets head up to Mount Pleasant, take on Central Michigan. The Mid-American Conference Championship game is set. Toledo will take on Miami. Yeah. So the Rockets know they're going to Detroit. Central Michigan knows they can't go to Detroit. Yet there's some things to play for for both teams on Friday. Well, Detroit is still in the possibility for Central Michigan if they can become bowl eligible by beating the Rockets, and then that can get them a trip to maybe the Quick Lane Bowl or something like that. Hopefully Toledo don't have to go in anything <laughs> like that. But more importantly, they are undefeated at home. This is a football team that thrives off their 12th man, and the Rockets are going to have to come and bring it and play with, uh, with, with great you know, composure. Talked about that because that's all it is for this football team. They sometimes start slow, but this Rockets football team, and to me, all season has been a second-half football team. Jason Cannell talked about this earlier this week. His name has been linked to openings at Michigan State in Syracuse. And basically, Coach Cannell's reaction was, I tell our players to stay focused on the task at hand, that the window in the front is bigger than the window in back. So we're going to keep looking forward, focus on Central Michigan. Could that be a distraction, though, with, with Jason Cannell's name being floated out there from some Power 5 jobs? I mean... It could be floated out there. It's been floated out there before. You know, he's been named as a potential candidate to be an offensive coordinator down at Miami, and, and he had some other things cooking up. But you know what? He's got the best group of five job, in my opinion. You know, it, it's, it's hard to leave a place where you've built such a legacy. You're almost the number one coach in history. You've broken almost every single record. And most people think, okay, what's left to do here? To continue to win, to continue the legacy, to continue the tradition. Family here, got everything established, and you make a pretty good coin, you know, living here in Toledo and taking care of your business. I don't see it as a distraction for Coach Candle. He's been down this road before. It's more of a guy just trying to stay focused and not losing sight that, hey, you have a potential opportunity to go see a New Year's Six bowl game. That's right. The best Power Five group of five school will go to a New Year's Six bowl game. It will be the Fiesta Bowl or the Peach Bowl this year. We're hearing quite a bit about Tulane and Liberty and Toledo being in the mix to be that group of five representative in the New Year's Six bowl. Yeah, and Liberty, what a good football team. I mean, but if we're going off what happened last year, the Rockets beat them, so we should get the nod in my opinion. <laughs> but, you know, they do have a new coach, a new coaching staff. They're playing great. Tulane, a great football team as well. And, again, that's just up to the Rockets to handle business as they should. Because the one thing we know is that Daquan Finn is one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. This defense is one of the top in the nation, and they play at a very high level. And all they got to do is understand, don't lose yourself thinking about things that don't matter. What matters is going to Kelly Short Stadium on uh, Black Friday after a nice Thanksgiving dinner and taking care of your plate because you still got stuff left to take care of before you make your trip to Detroit. Daquan Finn named the Mid-American Conference West Division Offensive Player of the Week following the win over Bowling Green. Playing the day after Thanksgiving, yeah. that's going to change the calendar a little bit. The, the team's going to get together. They're yeah. going to go up to Mount Pleasant Thursday night. So they're going to miss out on Thanksgiving, but they're going to have Thanksgiving with the team. And, and that's what's important. You know, football, more importantly, is, is about the camaraderie. It's about the teamwork. It's about celebrating the guys that you're with. And, and what's better than having a nice meal, then go travel and go play some football with your boys? You know, this is what this is about. And, and they understood that in the MAC that you're going to have these matching games. You're going to have games. Hey, Michigan play, State plays on, Saturday, on Friday night. So guys are getting after it and playing football. This is what you come to do. It should remind you of playing high school ball on a good Friday. So hopefully it brings some of that good juju because most of these players on Jason Candle's team were, were really high recruited football players and they understand how to take care of business. Black Friday is synonymous with door busters and big <laughs> sales. Rockets hoping to bust through the chips doors and not sell themselves short as they look for big things after the Mid-American Conference Championship game. We always get big things from Mike Rob. Thank you so much for coming in. Hey, thanks, Mark.